Hello everyone, Jeremy here from CyberPower PC. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about RAM. Now RAM is a very important component in your PC. Basically allows you to cache memory and allows you to run games, stuff like that. So today we're going to be talking about how to fix a potential RAM issue as well as identifying it and then just going step by step on how to move it around on the board. So let's start off by identifying what could be a RAM issue. One of the issues could be is your applications that you frequently use are not loading as quickly. Another could be random freezing or your system rebooting or even some motherboards also have a little speaker on them and you might hear a loud beeping noise. You are able to check if your system has any RAM issues by using the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool that is already integrated into the Windows operating system and allows you to stress test your RAM to see if there are any issues with it. We're going to be showing you two different types of scenarios. Uh, we have one scenario being a uh, two slot setup and another scenario being four slot setup or four full RAM sticks. And each motherboard will be different. So with these two motherboards, we have different type of locking mechanisms. You can see that this has a little lock here and then it has no lock here at the bottom. And then on this motherboard over here, we have dual locking mechanisms up here at the top. So I'll just kind of pop one out. I don't want to drop the RAM, but there's one there. And then let me push it back in and then do the bottom one. There, boom. So for the single lock, it's very simple. You just press the tab on this and then you're able to pull the RAM out. Be gentle, don't want to pull too hard, but it's just simple as that. Take that out and then pull it out. Boom, that's one. And then for the second one, same thing, press down on this little locking mechanism here, and then slide it out. Boom, done. The way it is labeled, if you were to look at your motherboard manual, is A1, A2, B1, and B2. So in order for your RAM to work properly, you are gonna need to run it in a dual channel uh, fashion, where you wouldn't run them in slots right next to each other. You would run them in opposite slots, um, because that's how the motherboard is manufactured. So yes, it is optimal to run them opposite of each other or leaving uh, one slot empty next to it. So you can run it this way. I like to flip them up and then open up the gray tabs and then put them in. So you can do it this way where you kind of just let it sit in there, push the back in first and then press it down. So if you have a setup that has four RAM sticks in it, this is how it would be done. Um, so of course we do have the dual clip on this one. So it's very easy. You just press down on both of them. Wiggle it, wiggle it a little bit. It comes out very easy. And to put them in, it's a lot easier when, you, when you're using four sticks because there's no different variation for it. You just put them all back into the four slots. Now that I showed you how to put your RAM back in, now we're going to talk about how to make sure that each RAM stick is working properly. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your four RAM sticks or two RAM sticks, but for the sake of this, we're just going to do all four. Um, so what you would do is you would just put in one stick of RAM and test that RAM and see if you continue to have those issues. Um, now, of course, this process could take a couple hours, um, but you can also use the Windows diagnostic tool. So say it does say that each individual or all four of the RAM sticks together is working properly, uh, you could take them out and test them individually. Um, so all you have to do is you're gonna wanna put it in this slot right here, this second slot. Now it is better to have the RAM stick closer to the CPU, but the way that the PCB is created, um, this is actually considered the first slot, the second slot. Now short side at the bottom, long side up top, just gonna press down, boom, locked in. So you would test the system, turn on the system, do the Windows Diagnostic Tool, and see if your system freezes up or other problems that we talked about earlier in the video. So after you've tested the RAM and you are continuing to have problems, there could be any number of things that could be going wrong with your system. One of them could be you need to update your graphic drivers, another could be you need to defrag your mechanical hard drive, or maybe there's a power supply issue, maybe components aren't getting enough power. So 
We would recommend that you contact our customer support, let them know the issues that you are having, and they'll help you out further. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this helped you out, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.